All right, hello, and welcome back to my Astro Image Journey channel. So, as you can see, we're out here at the telescope. We're gonna pull off the old CHL and put on the new the new uh, light crawler. So, let me stand up here. And this one was pretty easy. It's just uh, got to take the control cable off. All right. All right, so that is done. I'm gonna put these side by side for you. And as you can see, as far as the housing is concerned, they're, so as, see, you can see, if, as far as the housing is concerned, it's pretty, pretty close to the, the original. So I'm gonna go button this up and uh, get it in the package so I can get it back to run and uh, you know, as we agreed for that uh, trade-in value. And now what we had to do here, we had to loosen up these four, there's two on this side and two on this side, set screws for this to come off. So I've already loosened up three of them. And you can see that pops right off. does have some grease on it, so just be careful when you're handling it. And then, we just screw it on. Sure it's nice and tight. Now, if you remember me saying in the in the unboxing video, it came with replacement knobs. If I did not have this focal reducer, this would be back in here, and you know these knobs might get in the way. So uh, they do supply lower profile uh, knobs if you want to if you ch so choose. I'm going to leave the factory knobs on. Uh, because this is gonna sit well, well outside that, uh, those knobs. And now the question is, do we put it this way? So all our cables come up. Do we put it down? Um, also, are we gonna be able to see the screen? Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna like it up here. So let's tighten these down. And if you can't tell from the lighting, we got some clouds still in the area. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to actually do my test imaging tonight like I was hoping. But tonight, or some tomorrow night's supposed to be pretty good. So I'll keep an eye on it, the clouds break. I'll get her done. All right, that's nice and secure. So let me put that back in my pocket. And I'm gonna need to take the controller off. And I probably can use the same temperature sensor. Uh, 
And I'm gonna have to pull out a lot of these cables too. Sorry, I'm getting cut off here at the top. But I wanted to make sure that we can see everything I'm doing here on the installation. So I'm gonna clean these cables up a little bit later. For now, I'll probably just uh, zip tie them up there. Uh, but I got the controller. I don't know if he wants that back or not. Um, but I will ensure he gets that back as well. And then we have our OAG guide camera, filter wheel, and monochrome camera. And I did mention I had the, one of these sticking out. Um, unfortunately, there's a ridge here and there's two guides in the back. I was not able to flip uh, that around. So I removed this pin right here. I'm hoping that one pin will be more than sufficient. We will find out. So let's go ahead and mount this on here. And as you can see, you might not be able to see from this angle, but there's just a little bit of daylight in front of that focusing ring. And this is all the way in. So with where this is at, I should be roughly mid-range in the travel. So I should be back uh, about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit less. Uh, so even with it in all the way, the autofocus are in all the way, I'm not making contact. I could get a piece of paper in there. Um, so, that's always a good thing. So the last thing I need to do, which I'm just gonna end the video here in a second, is I need to get all the, everything connected back up. Uh, into the camera, I will put the OAG and the filter wheel, and uh, this guy, I will route the cables. And for the initial test, I'm still gonna use my extender. Uh, I know that the uh, USB 3 is going to be a little bit slower on the downloads tonight, if it is tonight. Um, but as you can see, I got a lot of cleanup to do to pull out some of these cables. I want to pull this guy off um, and I want to mount the PC on here. So that's all going to be uh, tomorrow and we will, you know, I'll get all that taken care of tomorrow. And then I'll be able to find out where I want to put the PC, uh, get this little USB extender off of here. And this guy, save a little bit of weight and, uh, you know, clean up my mess over here. So, but for now, I think we're going to call this one that's good. Like I said, I just got to wrap my cables, get everything uh, connected up, and then uh, ready for later on. So with that, I'm going to say thanks for watching, everybody. Um, just a real quick installation video. Uh, you saw in the previous video that, you know, I did everything on the bench, so all I had to do was just come out here and put it on. I didn't have to fumble with anything. Uh, the only thing I will have to fumble with later, once I get everything in focus, will be um, to make sure I get my uh, guide camera in focus as well. Um, but not having the DSLR on the back, um, that's going to be, I'm going to have to learn how to do a frame of focus or uh, initial focus uh, setup uh, using the Badenoff mask and all that with a monochrome. That should be interesting. So, yeah.
I'm gonna, like I said, get my cables hooked up and uh, get back inside where it's a little bit warmer. And uh, thanks everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed this uh, quick uh, installation video. As always, uh, clear skies and uh, stick around for the outro. Have a good one. Thanks for watching yet another episode from the Astro Ninja Journey channel. Really appreciate your viewership. In our upper right, we have the latest video that I have posted prior to this one. Down in the lower right, we have what YouTube thinks you will enjoy. Below is a subscription link. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you so choose, ring that bell if you want to get notified of something new, and as always, thank you. Clear skies. Remember, dude.